Record rainfall has lashed Melbourne, forcing the closure of two suburban train stations during the peak morning commute. Let's go live to Madeline Slattery at Burnley. Now, Maddie, are services back on track yet? Well, Pete, just in the last 20 minutes or so, we have seen trains stopping here at Burnley train station. It comes after a long wait for passengers on trains. The station was blocked or closed off, really, for the entire day due to flooding. Uh, trains were sweeping past this station. Nobody was accessing uh, the top platforms here at all. But just in the last half an hour, we did see all that flood water being drained, uh, which has meant that that access is now uh, free for people to use the platforms which is certainly good news for those people travelling home from the city this evening. However, things were looking very different this morning for those caught up in the morning commute. When the train station looks like this, it's obvious no one's going anywhere quickly. Got about might, might be a little bit late for work, but that's OK. I'll get there. Try as they might, pedestrian access to all platforms at Burnley Station was off limits as water continued to rise in the underground passage. Maybe I sent a message to my manager and uh, <laughs> maybe I have a half day sick leave. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> it was a similar problem in Blackburn with flooding stopping anyone from catching a train to the city. While there were no replacement buses, city bound passengers had to take a train in the other direction before being able to make the switch. I've got a class. Gonna be late. On what was officially the coldest day of the year, the icy blast created a pre-winter whiteout in Richmond, while the Alpine regions enjoyed snowfall for the second time this year. We've gone from really humid conditions to all of a sudden dry, shivery, cold, blustery conditions. So almost like taking a flight from Darwin to Hobart on an average day. It's average for the day about 11 or 12. Some parts of Victoria have already received triple their average rainfall for the month. While Melbourne isn't one of them, it's not far from doubling it. The city's April average is 57 millimetres and we have already had 107. The city has had 42 in the last 48 hours. Elsewhere, totals for the past three days alone have been astounding. Mount Hotham receiving 95 millimetres, Mount Buffalo 93. In Kew, there has been 69 millimetres, while Fernie Creek recorded 68 millimetres. Madeline Slattery, 9 News.